now learned mouse one, mouse two, and mouse three. Now I want to give you some symmetric variations. These variations are for practice only. Uh, you don't really need them for anything. It'll help you understand how this stuff works a little better, but you don't really want to perform this for your friends because they'll get bored out of their minds. So let me just show you starting with mouse one and you'll see how many variations we can dream up. So here's your mouse one. And remember you're going clockwise around the thumb and you want the, the string from the back of the index finger to be high and you finish, finish, finish. And this is mouse one that we've already learned. All right, so what's a symmetric variation? Well, one of them is instead of going clockwise, we'll go counterclockwise. And again, you want to have this string that came from, a, from behind the index finger be low this time and the other string high, and we go back this way. Okay, so we've done the same thing in this sense. All right, let's start going towards you. Set away from you, and then away towards you away. And now when I come back the other way we want to go towards you. The first wrap around the thumb. So let's wrap around the thumb uh, clockwise and we want the string from the back to be lower this time. and then towards you, away, towards you, away. Remove the blocker. And it still works. Now we could also start at the thumb. And you go from the thumb, towards you, away, towards you. And now we're going to make, make the baby finger the blocker. So. We want to wrap around the baby finger and uh, we want the string off the ring finger to be the higher, from the back of the ring finger to be the higher. And then we go away, towards you, away, towards you. And now the blocker from the baby finger is removed and here we go. Now it should be obvious that I could do the thumb in either direction, do the baby finger in either direction, do the wrap around clockwise or counterclockwise. So that gives us how many combinations? Well, four different ways of doing it, plus the clockwise, counterclockwise gives us eight variations. And then we did this wrapping on the left hand using the right hand to wrap. We could do it on the right hand using the left hand to wrap. So that gives us 16 variations. And then we could do the whole thing on somebody else's hands. And their left hand or their right hand, which gives us 32 variations. And uh, you get the idea what you can do with symmetry. Uh, the same thing applies to mouse two and to mouse three. And some of these variations are kind of tricky and you have to twist your hand just the right way, but we won't get into any of that. It's just 
a way of your practicing and your doing a creative work. So good luck with it. <laughs>